Hey guys, I'm Jason the X for SCNS Live, and I'm here with your super cool nerd news for August 6, 2018. First off in box office news, Mission Impossible Fallout was able to hold the number one spot again for the second week in a row, followed up by Disney's Christopher Robin, The Spy Who Dumped Me, Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again, and The Equalizer 2. Also releasing this week was The Darkest Minds. There was big anticipation for this movie, but unfortunately it has really gotten some bad reviews and released at the number eight spot, and it's probably going to go down from here on out. Now. Will Mission Impossible be able to hold it for week three as its competition this week are possibly coming from Black Klansman, a Spike Lee joint, The Meg, and Slender Man, a movie that's a couple years too late for me to be really terrified from it. But hey, if Ethan Hunt can do all those crazy stunts, maybe he can survive being eaten by a shark and diving from it while I was a thousand feet in the air. I don't know, Mission Impossible stunts are just getting crazy. Congrats to Mission Impossible for holding it a second week and we'll see if he can do it for a third. A new cinematic for World of Warcraft's upcoming expansion, The Battle of Azeroth, has the Orc leader Sarfank possibly breaking ranks with Sylvanas after Sylvanas burned down a world tree. Um, the cinematic is it's, it's very tense and it shows he is very conflicted. Of course, he's lost his son before and maybe he might be either taking over Sylvanas' spot or maybe making another faction. I don't know, but other characters in-game of World of Warcraft players have also been taken off their pauldrons that show their Horde uh, affiliation. This is actually kind of cool. I've always loved a World of Warcraft when something like this happens and the community responds in a way that's just exciting. So yeah, uh, the new expansion comes out August 14th. We'll see what's going to happen, but very exciting cinematic and what's going to happen. And as long as he's not directing Guardians of the Galaxy 3, I'm going to keep talking about it. But Fellow cast member Kurt Russell has come out in support of James Gunn and released this statement. It's sad, but it's part of our fabric now, and I get it. But I do think we're getting a little too sensitive on maybe some of the wrong people. Now, this follows the cast writing an open letter saying they support James Gunn and believe in forgiveness and all that. Now, Disney, look, you got duped. Let's make this right. Let's go ahead and rehire James Gunn. Hashtag rehire James Gunn. Seriously, rehire James Gunn. Now, I love the Netflix Marvel series, but everybody else has gotten their season two. Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, hopefully he'll do better this time, has his coming up as well. But where is Hornhead? Where is the devil of Hell's Kitchen? Well, if you follow the events of Defenders, you know they might be a little bit slow to bring Matt Murdock back into the fold. But now we're having word that Daredevil will come back before the end of the year, possibly within November or December time frame. But also on top of that, now we don't have a date, we don't have a trailer. The last trailer we have was this one from San Diego Comic-Con, and that was about two years ago, and it's just gotten a little teaser. Now, on another note, a personal trainer by the name of Nakam Washington, you might wanna go over to his Instagram and follow it. Thank you for the info, bud. Posted a picture with him, uh, Charlie Cox, and Wilson Bethel with the hashtags Bullseye and Daredevil on there. So thank you, dude, for providing us with that little tidbit of information because that's official, right? I mean, it's personal trainer, he knows. Anyway, guys, it's going to be awesome. Wilson Belt is going to make a great bullseye. On a sad bit of news, it's been announced that Stan Lee will no longer be doing public signings, and any signings of his will be private, and the information will be given out only to people who have signed up for it. Now, these bookings will be done through Desert Wind Comics and Celestial Comics, so if you want stuff signed, you're going to have to go through them, and there will be some pretty high fees for doing it. Now, I'm going to just give my opinion here, but when people of Stan's stature start to get about this age, the vultures come out and they want to squeeze every dime they can out of him until he passes. Uh, so with that, I don't know his representation right now. I know that the other guy was removed, but I do want Stan to live out his final days at peace and on his own terms and not someone just trying to get every single nickel and dime out of him that they can. So that's just my opinion on it. But if you want stuff signed by this legend of comics, you're going to have to go through those two groups and maybe follow them and figure out when they're gonna have him out there. So, yeah. Let's bring it back up because one thing that I love in this life are Nerf guns. I love buying them and shooting people with them and they're just great to have around in case you got annoying people like Cora. Anyway, now Hasbro was announced to have the master license to make toys and things from Overwatch. And they announced they were making Overwatch Nerf guns. The first one announced was Reaper shotguns 
but the second one has been announced here recently and it's going to be diva's light gun now these will be the rival nerf guns that will shoot the small little squishy balls instead of the traditional darts no dates or prices have been announced but if you're a cosplayer out there and you're looking for some props and you know some things you can you know still shoot somebody with this is possibly what you're looking for i'm going to need about 10 reaper shotguns Yes, I plan to just drop them and everything when I go through COD, so. Yay, Nerf guns may look like Overwatch guns. Where is my Peacekeeper? And finally, Tekken 7 has released a video for its Season 2 Season Pass, which is going to bring some other fighters back to the fold. First off, Anna Williams is coming back to resume her sibling rivalry with Nina. And while they engage in fratricide, Lei Wulong, one of my favorite kung fu fighters in the game, is coming back as well. Now, there's a couple more spots still have to be filled out, but a guest star has approached and it is Negan from The Walking Dead and he is bringing Lucille with him. Yes, the Walking Dead character Negan is coming to bash some heads in. Now, was not expecting that, didn't see that coming. I'm hoping it's Comics Negan and not Jeffrey Dean Morgan. You know, just because I like that aesthetic better. No date has been announced, but I'm pretty sure they're going to announce the other fighters before we get a solid date. Well, guys, that's super cool nerd news for this week. I hope you liked this video, because if you did, you need to go down there and like it. Or if you didn't, go ahead and dislike it, too. Leave me a comment down below on any of the stories that we covered, and make sure that you keep coming back for more nerdy content. I'm Jason the X, and I'll catch you next time.